Hey, what's going on guys? Nick from Practically Tactical. Thank you for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. So I'm with Day with Defensive Creations up here in Ohio. We're at Alliance. And I actually have a new product that just hit the market a couple weeks ago. And I don't even know if I'm saying the name right. It's so new on the market. Uh, Duek Defense. Now that name should ring a little bit of a bell if I'm saying it close to being right. Uh, from Surefire. Uh, David runs the, or is involved in the Surefire Silencer Division. So uh, obviously an extremely reputable name in the industry. He's been there a long time at Surefire. But basically this product is for mounting an RMR onto a Glock using the dovetail sight. So it's a mount that we'll put into the dovetail and uh, put a Trigicon RMR on it. So uh, obviously I need somebody that has far more gunsmithing skills than me. So Dave here is going to help me get this done. Uh, and for everybody out there, check out uh, DefensiveCreations.com. Fantastic facility. We'll have a couple videos out featuring Dave. He does some amazing work. If you're a 1911 guy, they need to get a hold of you. Thank you. Do that. Mm -hmm. So, guys, we're gonna. I'm gonna have Dave here. We're gonna do an install video on this mount and show you guys how it works. Here we go. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna disassemble the pistol so we can put this our uh, red dot mount on it. Uh, it's a typical Glock. So we're just gonna get the slide off of here. Take the recoil spring guide rod assembly and the barrel out. Now the first thing I do whenever I'm going to work on a customer's gun is I always want to protect it. I don't want to cause any damage to their gun whatsoever and what I have to do to it. So I tape it. Some people might think this is a little overkill, but I take a lot of pride in what I do. And I always want to make sure my customers are 100% satisfied. So this is just something that we have to do. Another thing that we're going to use is we always use some protective device between the customer slide and the vice jaws. In this case, these are two pieces of rel relatively soft nylon that I have been using for years. What we're going to do is we're going to just lay each one of these alongside the Glock slide. And we're going to set this in here so I can get at that rear sight. And again, I'm going to actually tape up the sides of the sight with a couple layers of tape. And what that does is it just gives me a little bit of a, a cushion barrier between my punch and the sight itself. Something I started using years ago instead of brass punches, guys, is copper punches. The reason I use copper punches is, number one, is copper is just a little bit softer than brass. And two, if I do leave a copper mark on the gun, I can use bore cleaner to remove the mark. Okay, put a little bit of bore cleaner on there. You might have to go after it a little bit with a brass brush, but it will take the marks off. All right, copper punches instead of brass. I'm going to drive the Glock rear sight from the left to the right. No mark. Set that guy aside. Here's our packaging that the mount comes in. And I, like I say, I think it's Duek or Duke Defense. Not sure. Okay, so we're gonna try to mount this Duek or Duke, however you pronounce it, mm -hmm. mount onto this block slide. One of the things I always like to do when I'm putting a dovetail in, especially an unknown dovetail, is I'm gonna put a little bit of oil. And, and the reason being is, is you're, you're basically pressing two pieces of metal together. If they're machined properly, it'll be a relatively tight fit. So with the addition of a little bit of oil, sometimes it'll help it go on. Okay, we're about halfway on. And take our tape, put our tape back over, go back after it with our copper punch, see if this doesn't work.
Okay. What I'm doing now is I'm looking for something on the on the mount to use as a reference point to make sure I have it centered on the slide. Once I figure that out, I'm going to take a measuring instrument of some type and I'm just going to make sure that I'm centered up. And it actually looks pretty good. Maybe go a smidge more. And that's correct, a smidge is a technical term. Okay, centered up. I'm going to take a little bit of blue Loctite. Apply a very small drop. Set that guy down in there. those just a little snug. They don't need to be super tight because it went in pretty tight. Gonna wipe off our excess. We'll take our RMR, drop her down over that, take the screws, another drop of blue on them. Give those a little snug. So, our RMR is installed. All we're going to do now is take it out of the vise. Take our protective layer of tape off, which sometimes can be tricky. And it looks like we're going to have a good day. And we're going to reassemble the gun in zero. Well, there it is, guys. There is the install video, courtesy of Dave with Defensive Creations. So thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I'm really excited to shoot it, see how it see how it performs. Uh, actually kind of like the rear sights that are kind of in it. Yeah. Seem to do pretty good. Interesting. Um, install seemed to be pretty easy for you. Nothing too, no issues in regards to any of that? Nope. nope. Everything went pretty smoothly. All right. Well, again, there it is, guys. There's the install video on the, uh, the Duke Duet Defense. Uh, RMR mount and again thank you so much to Dave man I really appreciate it uh, again check out defensivecreations.com um, this work for Jeff I'm actually leaving my AR upper here to get a new barrel in it convert it to 300 blackout because again he does amazing work so if you guys are in the Ohio area or down here at Alliance for training please go ahead and check him out uh, ask Joe if you need anything at where you're at Alliance you can definitely get a hold of him uh, defensivecreations.com duekdefense.com uh, is this mount you can go find more information on it I'll put a link down below to Dave and the mount in uh, product information. So until next time guys, stay safe.